you may find it hard to accept but most of the plans that you have are not God's plan. Here's why. Hi, my name is Alvin and welcome to Transformative Life. It's a series I'm doing. This part 4. If you missed my previous video, check out my profile for the other 3 videos. Today, we're going to talk about to fulfill God's purpose, a very important element for every Christian believer. So basically what this means is that you want to have a transformation life equipping you as a Christian to live out your unique calling in God's kingdom, contributing to His plan on earth and not your plan. Amen. So the problem that I see most people have is they presume always that whatever plans they have is aligned with God's plan. But actually in most cases, including myself, most of our plans are not part of God's plan. And it's important for you to understand whether your current plan is it according to God's plan or not, so that you can work with God towards the plan He has given you. So you can read this in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 to 10. It says here, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, it is not for yourself. This is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for you to do. Amen. So let me break it down to simplify what this means, right? To live a transformative life. So no matter what works you have done, right, it's not enough to be saved because it is your faith and your belief in Christ that you are saved. It's a gift given by God. So no matter how many good things you think, do, good works you do, contribution donation, it doesn't matter because that does not give you the right to be saved by God or Jesus, right? It's through faith and believing in Him that you are saved. So that's one thing for you to take note, right? So you do many good things, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, it doesn't count because it's a gift given by God. That's the first part. The second part of this, it says here, not by works so that no one can boast. So it's very important is to tell you and remind you that even if you do a lot of volunteer work, you work as a pastor, you uh, do many mission work, it doesn't matter because you're doing this not to boast, but because you love Christ and therefore you want to serve Him. The third part, which most Christians misunderstood the most, so most Christians, when they pray, they have a plan. They always presume the plan is a plan given by God. So for example, most people will plan, hey, I'm going to plan for holiday. I'm going to plan for uh, my work. I'm going to plan for my children. I'm going to plan for my career. But here's the thing. Did God give you those plans or is it your plan? I can tell you 99% of the time, it is your plan and not God's plan. <laughs> so it says here, all right, we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So God did prepare a plan for you. You're not supposed to tell him your plan. You're supposed to sit down and pray and ask God, God, What's the plan for me? You need to ask him for your plan, not you give him the plan. So the reason why many Christians do not live a transformative life or do not not able to do God's will, or why I say that most of your plans are not God's plan, because I can tell you, whenever he gives you a plan, it normally has nothing to do with your desires and needs. Usually, it doesn't. It always has to do with serving others. If you read the Bible, every single plan given to all the disciples in the Bible, never one time it was a plan to serve themselves. It was always a plan to serve Israel, to serve the people, to heal people, to go out there, pray for the sick, cast out demons, all right, and so on. 
So why do you even think that the plan that you have now, that you claim is from God, is not God's plan? It is your personal greedy plan. I'm equally guilty of it, not just you. And I'm saying this, not that you cannot plan, but I'm saying this to encourage you. Instead of planning for God, why not you spend time listening to God and ask God, God, what's the plan for me? What do you want me to do? This, this, let me teach you how to pray to get God's plan, alright? So it's very simple. When you do this, sit down, spend some time and pray. Say, Lord, I'm here, I'm available. Can you tell me what is the plan you have for me? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to see that I do not see? Who do you want me to love? Who do you want me to pray? Where do you want me to go? And God respond usually is something you will not expect. Usually He will challenge you to do something that you normally won't do. Maybe for example, I give you some examples. Huh? He will ask you to go mission trip. Maybe He will ask you to pray for the church. He will ask you to pray for your self members. He will ask you to volunteer in church. He will ask you to help someone. He will maybe ask you to text someone in love and ask them, How are you? It's always serving others. It is never once about yourself. Trust me, it never. You can't find it in the Bible. Can you imagine Jesus pray, Lord, I want to fly to Japan. <laughs> that is not God's plan. That is your selfish plan, to be honest. It has nothing to do with God. Don't take it as God's plan. It's never was. It's not even part of God's will. Alright? But of course, God knows you want to enjoy and have some free time. He understands. Alright? But that is never God's plan. To make it clear. Alright? So I'm spending a bit long on this because it's important. And I'm glad you're listening until this point. So I'll take this time to pray with you to help you hear God's plan. Close your eyes and I pray with you. Father, I pray for those who are watching this video. Father, I pray they will submit to you and hear your plan and give them guidance. Who should they serve? Who should they love? Who should they help? Lord, I pray you will have a sweet relationship with you to hear your voice, to hear you and to serve you again. Lord, I thank you for my brothers and sisters. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you believe that and you did spend some time praying, which I suggest you to do, comment Amen. If you got any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll be very glad to help you. God bless. And there's one last series tomorrow. Hope to see you tomorrow in the last part, which is the most important part. God bless. My name is Alvin. Do follow and share right, to learn more about the Bible. God bless and see you tomorrow.